Hey, hey, everybody. James Swank here with Junk 180, 707-536-0740. Check us out online at junk180.com. Um, just want to introduce truck number three. Here it is. 16 foot box truck, a Suzu NQR. Access side door there. It's kind of nice. Got a lift gate on the back, which is also kind of nice. And then just a standard kind of flat surface around the driver's side. Um, so there's uh, some points I want to make on as to why we uh, went with a box truck for our third truck. And uh, I'll get to those after, uh, towards the end of this video. But what I want to focus on right now is this. So the lift gate, we've had this truck for about two to three months now. We use it. Uh, it it's not scheduled out full time yet. We do use it probably once or twice a week. and. Um, I'm just going to show you something that has been driving me crazy and it's something that I'm going to take advantage of uh, having the availability to do today so I'm going to get it done. So the lift gate has these uh, I don't know little retaining houses I guess housing on both sides but the tab on either side as the truck is going down the road it, there will be some racking on the box and racking of the uh, the platform itself to where this will slip inside of one of the little retainers and kind of get wedged in there. The other side is always latched. There's always at least one, so it's not like a safety deal, but it's supposed to be. Supposed to be setting just like that. Right, on both sides so what I'm gonna do is break out the old grinder break out the old welder I got some uh, scrap angle iron in the back from uh, some previous work on one of the other trucks so what I'm gonna do is uh, basically attach um, I don't know I'll just say finger I'm gonna attach uh, some additional material so that way there is uh, some overhang here on both sides. So when it does rack around, it's not going to fall out of one of these brackets. So, enough said. Let's get to work.
That'll do it. A little cleanup. We'll see how it works. All right, so uh, modification all done. Let's take a look at the finished result here. Obviously both sides painted. So that's gonna do its job just fine. Let's uh, venture around this way. So why did Junk 180 go with a box truck? Our first two trucks are dump trucks and there's a couple reasons couple reasons why number one uh, I want to get a box truck in the fleet anyway because uh, there are certain times when it's the right tool for the job the uh, well let, let's think about some examples some current events we had uh, we've had several commercial cleanouts that have had large appliances for example uh, there was one particular shop uh, over in, I believe, Walnut Creek, and the uh, owner had three locations of a smoothie shop, and uh, due to uh, COVID hardships, he closed two of his locations to focus on the remaining one location. And he had uh, some commercial-sized freezers, refrigerators, and it made that job pretty easy just to be able to wheel them out to that lift gate lift them up put them in strap them to the wall and call it a day it made that job pretty easy um, another example is we are doing a, a large commercial clean out of a property in Fairfield and uh, oh man I'd have to look at the at the numbers they release X amount of material every couple weeks. We are actually on the schedule two times this week, later this week, to go back there. And uh, every time we go out, it's somewhere between three to five truckloads uh, based on an 18 cubic guard truck. So for that particular job, there's a lot of bulky items, desks, couches, uh, tables, things of that nature. And uh, this box truck is 16, it's a 16 foot box truck. And uh, it works very well for those larger cleanouts with larger items. It uh, cuts down having to go to the dump by like half when we bring that truck out there. And with the uh, larger items, it doesn't take that long to unload by hand. Uh, we really try to avoid using the box truck for uh, jobs that have a lot of small items typically would not see it at a hoarder house even though we have had to use it at uh, two hoarding scenarios and um, it's just a, a huge pain to be taking the small items out you know it could take over an hour to offload a truck uh, one guy to offload the box truck when it's full of small items but it's full of big items it's uh, pretty quick doesn't take significantly longer than a dump and um, that there are scenarios where time on site is more valuable than having to do uh, take the time to go and do two dump runs it's better off just to be able to have a truck with twice the capacity um, so those are really the two primary reasons why I wanted to get a box truck in the fleet uh, regardless of um, my personal belief that dump trucks are the right tool for the job 90 plus percent of the time uh, the other reason is uh, simply the uh, market right now or at least over the summer I'd have to see what's going on right right this second but uh, basically if you you've been in the market for a truck over uh, really the past year in 2021 you've uh, probably realized that truck right truck price truck prices sorry excuse me have risen uh, dramatically and there's several reasons for that the cost of steel is up the uh, there's a worldwide shortage of uh, microchip processors um, I think uh, Ford has just like a whole stadium full of uh, completed vehicles just waiting on the uh, chips for the computer to 
to finish them off. Um, but because of COVID, in uh, just in short, because of COVID, there's been uh, shortages of these low cab forward trucks. So the uh, is, is driven the market up, not just for new trucks, um, but for used vehicles as well. You know, if there is not a new truck available for a company to uh, purchase to replace an older aging vehicle, they aren't going to get rid of their older aging vehicle, right? So that's uh, the market we've been in. And on average, oh, they're probably 15 to 20,000 more than they were uh, just a year and a half, two years ago. I used my, uh, actually both of them, the 2015 and the 2012 uh, Isuzu NRR dump trucks. I got both of those for right around the $30,000 mark. Now you uh, try to find a truck like that under 50, you're, you're gonna be lucky to find it under 50. You can find some in the 45 to 50 range, but for the most part, even the dealership I bought that uh, box truck from, they had some dump trucks on site, the smaller NPRs, uh, not even the NPR HDs, which uh, be careful with that because uh, you, you're not gonna be able to load a lot in the back and, and stay legal with your weight um, they were selling for fifty and fifty five thousand dollars so that's the other reason I always wanted to get a box truck in the fleet I probably would not have gotten one as truck three except for the economics right now that's realistically what uh, kind of what was available I got that truck for uh, somewhere it was a little north of 30,000, 32, 33, something like that. And I uh, was able to pay for that cash. Um, and it's serving our needs pretty well. Before I got it, we were getting to a point where we were starting to have to uh, rent U-Hauls a couple times a month, you know. And it's costing 200, 250 for, you know, half a day or uh, single day rental for those trucks. So even if you financed a $30,000, $35,000 truck and you used it one time per month and avoided a rental fee, well, it's it's paid for itself, hasn't it? Um, so that's it for this video. It's a, this is a great addition to our fleet. It allows us to serve our customers very, very well. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. This is James with Junk 180, 707-536-0740. Check us out online at junk180.com. Till next time, we'll see ya. Bye-bye.